Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Nicki Minaj gagging the kids and the girls on Queen Radio last night. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Okay, so shout out to Nicki for using all of the crazy mess going on right now to have fun on the internet and to promote other up-and-coming artists especially those who she has signed to her label heavy on it because i'm really tired of all of this stupid ass manufactured beef between her and cardi i just did a video about how cardi and offset are really trying to use nikki right now and use kenny as a way to get themselves back in the media and to try to hype themselves up especially offset he has an album coming out and cardi b doesn't exist without nikki beef so this is just a good way to like deflect from it all and to just play in people's faces and use the promo and get a bag because I definitely feel like Offset pulled a whole ass move by trying to call the police on Kenny. I'm like, are you serious? Like, as a rapper that runs around talking about all of the heinous shit that you do, and a dude who carries himself in a way like, oh, I'll put money on your head and I'll do this and that, you know, you talk so big and bad, but when you threat, when, when you really was threatened by a real nigga and a real nigga really pulled up on you and was ready to scrap, you ran like a hoe and called the police. You was writing letters to Kai Sinat about how he was, you know, a brother to you. And, you know, you ain't never had so much fun in your life. And all of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you up here fucking playing Boy Scouts. But, you know, in your music, you acting like you just so fucking real. And you're the one who initiated the DM to Kenny talking about some, you know, meet up and pull up and all of this bullshit and then Kenny pulled up and you, you know again you running around the city and running around fucking America you know and calling cops like you know cop the plea bullshit like him and Cardi are so fucking corny bro and like people who just have a problem with Nikki are gonna say Nikki's corny and Nikki's this and Nikki's that like and y'all are the same ones who was tuned in to Queen Radio me as a whole as Barb didn't even watch. But the main people who talked the most shit was there, tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Again, I told y'all, I have a fucking job. I got my own shit going on. I got my channel and my job. And in my own personal life. But no, the bum ass fucking Barty gang, many of them were sitting right there, you know, ready to try to roast Nikki and and like they were saying, make think pieces and get on TikTok and just, you know what I'm saying, do the most and fucking suck dick and for what you know like y'all you know why it's because you don't have any new cardi music to stream cardi b don't got nothing going on she on instagram live or on tiktok making fucking spicy bowls and releasing fucking wop 2.0s that are not going anywhere and um and offset too busy cosplaying as michael jackson and all of this bullshit like I've been saying that them two are two thirsty ass rappers in need of a re-up and that the only way I see them getting any type of clout for their actual music is for them to be in a group together. I have been saying that because otherwise as solo artists, they are fucking crashing and burning like two more people who just who have really nothing going for themselves besides fashions and mess. Jealousy didn't do shit. Offset's new album is not gonna do shit. Everybody already knows. Father of Four didn't shake the fucking room. Like, didn't even make niggas get the chills. Like, nothing is gonna happen when Offset releases this new album. And Cardi B, where is her album? She don't have an album release date. She don't have no new solo music. She don't have nothing popping but the same shit Megan got popping. Gimmicks and antics and being a fucking influencer who raps on the weekends. Like, you know, and really <laughs> recites other people's lyrics on the weekends. Like, that's what y'all really got going on. But shout out to Nicki for just, like, doing her and having fun with it because the beef is draining and it's tiring and it's childish as fuck and it really needs to stop like the you know cardi is trying to drum up 
a lot of this bullshit was again with her and all of it just a lot of it the back and forth is just draining and annoying because it's like you guys have been carrying this shit on for a long time because i think even nikki responds to it too much but i'm glad that she got her bag and like played in people's faces on queen radio because like please gag these hoes like to put something in their fucking mouth because they're they're getting on my nerves like just all of this mess all the time all over the internet this is like a real thing this fucking beef does keep and i've been saying that this beef keeps female rap alive this beef is the the real root of a lot of the success of female rap over the last few years because it's allowed new rappers to be ushered in and when there's you know all they've done to make it a fun game is divide and conquer put certain people in this color or put certain people on this side certain people on that side and now watch them play back and forth and now we have a game going on like this is pure illuminati rituals and antics if you have no idea what i'm talking about please go back and watch my video talking about the truth behind female rap beef this is used as a way to pop uh to hype up the genre because female rap has always had just a few women in the game but now we're seeing more artists than ever and a lot of it is because of this nikki and cardi beef like it, the labels in the industry have used this mess as a way to really cultivate the genre and it's sad and it's weird and it's demonic but that's how the industry runs but it is tired and old like get some new get some new energy up in this hoe get some new blood up in this hoe and as far as cardi b is like if you're not going to release any of your own fucking music and do you fuck you like we don't want to hear shit from you fuck barty gang and fuck offset and his hoe ass and his fucking michael jackson fucking wannabe ass like both of them are so lame and whack and i'm just wishing nikki success with her album like i'm glad she promoted her artist shout out to the rest of the barbs who do watch and who do tune in to my shit nikki shit and who support and who understand um the way nikki mind works how she'll just keep you tuned in and watching looking for something to be addressed and all you'll end up doing is just you know watching what she really has going on watching her artist because she actually has a label and watching nikki give you looks and give you fits and gag you and pop ass on live you know what i'm saying like like that's what you watched and you were looking for a story because Barty Gang needs a fucking story. They don't have nothing else to talk about. They don't have any new music to gag over. All they have is annoying ass bongos. So let's talk in the comments, y'all. What y'all think? I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.